<laughs> hey y'all, so in this video I'm going to be trying out the NARS foundation. Yes, I finally got it. I returned my Huda Beauty foundation. If a lot of y'all, if y'all have not saw my review on the Huda Beauty foundation, please go check that out. Um, I actually recorded two videos of me using the Huda Beauty foundation, but on one of the videos it was blurry a lot, so I I thought maybe I edited it out too much to where you guys couldn't see really my thoughts about it. So I ended up doing another video and that's the one that's posted now on my channel. But I'm going to be trying out the NARS Natural Radiance Foundation. And then I'm also going to be, this is also going to be a get ready with me. Um, I'm actually going to a friend's wedding. So I'm going to be doing my eye makeup using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. So if you're interested, just keep watching because we're going to try to do this as quick as we possibly can. My dress just so happens to be a lot of these color, oops, a lot of these colors inside of the Renaissance palette. So I'm really excited to play with some of those colors. This is going to be my first time playing with this palette. I've always wanted this palette, but I just never worked up myself to spend that much money on this palette because it was over $40. So, um, but when I picked out my dress and then I saw this palette in Sephora, when I went in to go get this NARS foundation, I was like, bet, I'm finna get that. So, my wig is not glued down yet. Like, you see, I can still raise it up. But it's because I want, I don't want to get a lot of foundation in my hair. So, and then I also don't want to scare you guys while, while I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> so, um, that's why I still don't have it glued down yet, but it's going to be glued down by the end of this video. So, what I'm going to do is color correct because I feel like I'm going to have to... Sometimes when it's a new foundation, I like to try to um, I like to try to put on the foundation without color correcting. Even if I needed to color correct underneath, it just kind of gives me a feel on how the foundation cover ups covers up or doesn't cover up um, my skin. So, but because I'm getting ready to go somewhere, I actually don't want to be out and about without color correcting and be screwed but if this was just a regular old video when I wasn't going to be going anywhere then I would actually not color correct so and I'm going to use Benefit Pore Minimizer on my skin because I really want I don't want my pores to be sticking or peeking through my foundation and so as that's drying I'm just going to talk a little bit about this NARS foundation. It's Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Um, it says Shake Well. And it has um, one fluid ounce of foundation. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about this foundation. The color I have is Tahoe. So um, there was also another color called Morena. Maria that was the color I was color matched for but it looked too dark like I kept it on I kept it on my face the whole time I was in Sephora just before I walked out because I knew I was going to be wanting to get this foundation just spraying my face with fix plus and then I have a wet morphe sponge that I'm also going to spray but yeah so um it ended up being too dark but y'all I think um, I was thinking when I was in Sephora, I was like, I may have to mix these two foundations, but we'll see how this color does before I, and I really don't want to have to go back and buy it, but if I really like this foundation, then I'm just going to have to do it. Just like with the Fenty, I like the foundation so much that I was okay with paying that much money for it. So for two to have to mix versus taking it back. So I'm just going to take it and start blending it in. And I didn't test out, I didn't test out Tahoe that much. I was just like, okay, if the Maria, if the Maria is too dark, then this one has to fit me. So I just did a small little chest test 
and it passed so I was like okay it's for me so I'm hoping this actually works I do see that I have to just go a little bit more. So I'm not really liking the color so far between my neck and my face. The foundation, it looks, it looks like I am going to have to mix so far. I do want to see if I can get away with contouring and bronzing and all of that and see if I still need to mix, but we'll see. It's like the undertone is off. Definitely. Definitely the undertone is off, but at this point, I'm just going to have to keep going because I got to be somewhere. And I definitely don't have enough time to go to Sephora and get it so which is disappointing I hate when I have to mix for some reason I'm a person that has to mix a lot but hey if I want to look cute it's just what I'm gonna have to go through okay so I'm gonna just go ahead and take my LA girl pro phone concealer and just put it here I love doing this underneath the Kylie Consider Concealer. Okay, so I'm using Kylie Concealer, Concealer Peanut. And y'all, I'm going to go ahead and speed through this because I still have to do my eyes. But I'm going to just put my concealer on, um, blend it all out, set it so that we can get on to the eyes. Okay, y'all, okay, so I am all powdered down because I have room for zero mistakes because I am running out of time. So what color I'm going to go in with first is this color right here. And it's the color Raw Sienna. So I'm just going to take that and go all in my crease area on both sides. I already have my eyes prepped and primed. So and we're going to go all in this area right here. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I just know the colors that I want to go in with that's going to match my dress. So, I don't know what I'm doing just yet, guys. <laughs> the next color I think I want to go in with. This color is not really on my dress, but I can see it blending really, really cute with the raw sienna. So, I just want to try it. Oh, yes. That's what I was wanting. That is definitely what I was wanting. Okay, y'all. So, this is looking really cute. The next color I'm going to go in with is Red Ochre. And it's right there. This color, I'm mainly going to just concentrate right here. Next color I'm going to go in with is Cypress, Cypress Umber. I'm just putting it right here, y'all. And I'm just going to mix it in with the color Red Ochre, just like that. Not even really, you're going to even really notice this color a lot. I just wanted to just darken up this color right here the red ochre and keep this color as low 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 as possible and next color we're gonna go in with y'all is this color right here Venetian red and Venetian red I'm gonna put right here What I got in my mind, I'm hoping it comes out the way that I'm wanting it. 
And then, y'all, this color right here um, is called Warm Taupe. I put Warm Taupe right here on the naked, the naked part of the eye that we didn't put any color in. And we just gonna kind of and just blend it out like that. Then we're gonna take Venetian red again and just just like that. So now I'm going to line my eyes, put on lashes, and then um, we're going to work on the bottom half of the eye. I'm going to take this color Raw Sienna again. Then I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take Red Ochre. I've been loving this Better Than Sex um, mascara, y'all. I finally bit the freaking bullet and bought it. Don't get me wrong, I still love my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but it dries out so easily to where I was like, let me just see what this is all about, cause maybe I'll have to. I can spend more on one, and just it lasts me longer versus keep spending money on multiple ones. Okay, y'all. So this is my look. Let me take these clips out. I'm gonna wipe away my powder, finish my look, come back on here, tell y'all my thoughts about the foundation, and then let y'all see my overall look. So, I'm just gonna go up front. Okay. Right, 10 minutes. Well, 10 oh. minutes. Are you hear me, Yes, sir. That's a week. Mm -hmm. It's a so, week. So, real hell, girl, she grew that out. It's a week. Grew it in the sky. In one month. Where you been? Where you been at? Trying to be funny, Carrie. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is my finished look. Um, this is my dress. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to be able to show y'all my entire outfit. If you do follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I will be posting it on there. So if you want to see my whole overall finished look, I'll be posting it on there. But um, I wanted to just show you guys something. Um, I have some, I don't know how many of y'all ever heard of Scentbird, but it's this really, really, really cool, like, um, it's like a perfume website like you can if you subscribe for $14.95 a month you get free um, samples of like different perfumes they have so 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 many options like I had anxiety when I first was looking because I'm like all these options I gotta I want to pick the right one for this month so I ended up getting the Burberry it's called Burberry my Burberry and it comes oh spray myself in the eye it comes in like this little bitty, um, it comes in like this little bitty, I don't know what to call it, tube. And you just twist it up and you can pop it out like that. But you just spray it. Like this is coming with me to the wedding. <laughs> coming with me everywhere. And I freaking love this scent. Like I've always heard Burberry has some really good, mmm, you smell it. I'm talking to my sister. <laughs> I was telling her about this, but y'all check this out. Um, if you're interested in purchasing one of these or interested in being having a subscription with the website, just um, use the link down below in the description box for whoever wants to um, to purchase one. Um, but yeah, definitely check this out. I promise you, like instead of spending all that money on a huge bottle of perfume that you might get tired of and probably not even want to wear it all the time, get a sample, spray on it. Uh, when I was looking on the website, like researching it, I saw that it do it can last for up to 30 days. So I'm gonna let you guys know if it really do or not. But so far, I'm love, love, loving. I cannot wait to pick out my next scent because I absolutely love perfume. Perfume is like it sets everything off. You know what I'm saying? Like it set everything just together. Once you get finished getting ready, you already look good. You smell good. So 
Yeah, y'all. Um, it smell good, don't it? It's like my third time wearing it. And even when like hours later, it smells so good. Like when I first put it on, my husband was like, who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> y'all seen uh, Waterboy commercial? I mean, not the commercial, but Waterboy the movie when uh, he they was playing football and he, he got knocked out. He was like, who that? Who that? <laughs> but y'all, when I put this perfume on, my husband was like, because he always trying to check for me on what I'm buying. He was like, when did you get some good perfume? I was like, why? He was like, cuz, it smell good. He was like, it smell expensive. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> $14.95. Thank you very much. And for $14.95 a month, instead of spending $100 on my favorite perfume, I can just go on there and get that for each month if I wanted to. So, hey. But yeah, y'all, definitely check that out if you're interested. If you're a perfume lover like me, you will love, love, love this. It's so ha in handy. It came in this cute little bag that I'm going to be putting in my purse tonight while I'm at the wedding. Because it is outside wedding. So I can easily just pop this out and just be spraying it all over the place. But yeah, until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. I hope y'all like this. Get ready with me going to my friend's wedding. And until next time, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.